Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great week and you're able to get out and do your shop and make something. Today's project is very special. I had a good friend of mine and of this community, Kevin Miller, come to me and ask if I could do a special project for him. And I was humbled and honored uh, that he would ask me to do that and I agreed to. Um, unfortunately, his wife, uh, Sherry, had lost a uh, grandmother and they were very close. And he wanted to memorialize a photo that uh, she cherishes into scroll saw art. So I took on that challenge uh, humbly, and uh, this is the video. Uh, not only that, I hope to share some tips and tricks of some spiral blade scroll saw uh, techniques as I go through the video. And Sherry, I hope this does justice to what we're looking to do. Let's get started. So think about spiral blades and scrolling like coloring a coloring book. Basically, when you're coloring, you want to stay within the lines. So the dark pattern is what you're cutting out. If you stay just within the lines of the black, you don't have to be exactly on that line to get the cut that you're looking for. A little bit of black could be here and there. It's not going to take away from the pattern. So don't try so much to stay on the line, just inside the line. Also, you want it tensioned not too tight to where it's going to break when you push it. Let the blade do its job. It's a spiral blade. It cuts on all sides. So when the wood is moving, it's cutting. Guide it with the lines, not with the blade. The blade is going to cut. Let it cut. Think of hair the same way. This black here is just a guide for you and it's just what needs to be cut out. So use that as your guide, but again, it's hair. So if you go a little bit off of that, it's not gonna hurt it. It's not gonna change the look. It's not gonna change the pattern. Just follow that black as a guide.
quick. I've got the Olsen blades that I've always used. I love Olsen blades. I've never used any other blades. And I went with, to try something new, this new Pegasus. I'm assuming I'm saying this right, Pegasus. This is supposed to be like the king of the crop. And I am thoroughly impressed with these. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. I broke four Olsen blades on this half of the scroll saw pattern. I used one scroll saw blade on the Pegasus here. The metal and the cut is just so much finer and better. It's amazing the difference between the scroll saw. The good thing too about these stacking, check this out. You could do two at one time. How cool is that? So double up your work. Thought I'd share that. They really came out nice. I, I really am thankful for Charles Deering for being able to do the pattern for me. Uh, so if you want to find out how to do patterns, he does have CDs that he sells on how to make the patterns handmade, not by the computer, but actually doing it with pen and paper and pencil and, and doing it the old-fashioned way. So check out Charles Deering. I'll leave a link down below. Sherry, hope you enjoy this and it's a memory for a long, long time. God bless. Always remember, be kind to one another.